Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today I just wanted to take a moment just to do a bit of a catch up on all areas of what's been happening in my life. It seems as though that we haven't done that for a little while actually, um, but it's been a really busy time, but it certainly has been a fantastic time as well, so I just want to put that out there. Now a lot of my subscribers will know that I use my channel as a virtual diary and I talk about my passions of hair care and motivation and skin care and celebrating all great things such as family milestones and achievements in life to the trips in the road of life as well. Um, my channel covers a little bit of absolutely everything so it really is sometimes just nice to do these clips where it's just a general catch-up and that's what we're doing today. For the last couple of months I've been really trying to pick myself up from not having great health the first half of this year. We're now of course in July, I've just celebrated my birthday so I've just turned 31 with my twin brother uh, and that's fantastic, had such a lovely time, really really did, uh, with the family, mum, dad, brothers, uh, niece, nephew um, and my sister-in-law and two of my brothers with my mum went away and had a really lovely holiday as well, just come back from Lanzarote which was absolutely fantastic um, but you know what it feels like it's just been go 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 and there has been times among all of that where I've been able to just relax and just enjoy to being at peace with the the position I am in at life at the moment, which of course is between a really busy job, picking myself up from uh, some health problems, and then just making sure, that's the one thing I've learned from all of this, what's happened the first half of this year, is really that just trying to concentrate on not worrying so much, not stressing so much, and enjoying the right now. So being at peace with time and at right now enjoying whatever I'm doing. Um, so I've really been trying to concentrate on that but it's been a really sort of hectic time and as I say we haven't done this for a little while just took a moment of composure and uh, just chatting about what's happened. So this is what today is going to be all about, a bit of a catch up with all of my subscribers. So first of all, I just want to put that out there that I have got so many comments and it's getting harder and harder to keep on top of all of my comments, but I absolutely will never not reply. So whether it's a couple of weeks before I get back to you, I've got such a backlog at the moment, but that is because work has been incredibly busy. I'm also throwing myself back into my studying I am, uh, I'm a financial accountant, but I'm pushing and pushing to advance my career and go further and further. Unfortunately, I can't tell you about the job I do, um, just because of the nature of what it is, um, but it is something of which I enjoy, and it does stretch me, let's put it that way. So I'm always trying to enhance my professional development, um, and uh, whether that be different courses, whether that be qualifications, and just striving for, uh, not, I don't want to... It's, it's not a point of kind of getting to a certain position for a certain salary or anything like that, but it, it's a hard field. So it's me just trying to stay at the top of my game. It's not going to be something which I'm going to be studying exam, exam, exam all the time. I'm trying to get myself to a certain level. And once I get to that level, then it's really important for me, I feel, to then start enjoying it. Because, of course... I do truly believe that life is a journey and it's great to get to that final destination, but it's so, so important to enjoy that journey along the way as well. So for me, I'm about, I would say a year, maybe six months to a year away from where I want to be ultimately at that sort of level, let's say on a CV position uh, sort of tag um, as a job title. I'm about six months to a year away from just, I want to get my, my study, my uh, qualifications up to a certain point so I can have wholehearted confidence on calling myself uh, the title of what I want to be at. So that financial accountant, I want to just, but I'm there, but I just want to bolster it a little bit more. So I've been doing some research and trying to throw myself into studying at the moment with that as well. So I've been doing all sorts of different uh, small courses and qualifications and things to bolster that. So that's been really, really busy. It's something I enjoy. Uh, currently, we're doing lots of things around management, um, lots of things around finance. Uh, I recently finished some economics things as well. Um, so really just trying to continue and strive and run with my continued professional development. To, to really just bolster where I want to be in life. Um, so that's going great. So on top of that, I also work in a really busy role, um, which has got a lot of responsibility in. That's been going really, really great. Um, it is a passion of mine, professionalism, and putting my best self forward. Now, a lot of my subscribers will think, where well, is that your, your hair? Is that your motivational speaking? Is that... Uh, 
how you present yourself across. Uh, is that the choice of the style which you present yourself across at work? No, do you know what? It's just a personal thing. It's not for anybody else. It's for me. I think it's so, so important in the society which we live in today that it's important to hold on to what you want to do. And if you want to do it, then run, run and just grasp with it and stick with it and don't give up. Because do you know what? Society, I feel nowadays, so, so... Um, sort of casually pushes people into corners that you must do this, you must do that by a certain age. But ultimately, I do truly believe as long as you continue on that path of what you want to achieve at whatever any age, whatever circumstance, just keep going because the reward is absolutely incredible. And nine times out of 10, the journey is by far more valuable and exciting than that end position. So that's been really, really going out there uh, hugely um, for me. So it's it's been a really, really busy time with that. Uh, so on the back of that as well, I've been really trying to concentrate on de-stressing. A lot of my health problems, yes, there's some physical ailments with me in the middle here. And then as we've talked about a couple of times on my channel, that kind of vice effect in life uh, with stress and worry and anguish kind of pushing and almost suffocating uh, me with with whatever actually physically has been going on. Um, a lot of my subscribers will know I've been having some problems and I've been under a neurologist uh, uh, with some sort of seizure or fainting collapsing sort of episodes. I've had quite a lot of that the first half of this year. And I'm also under a cardiologist as well for having some problems, as well as the long term issues, which I deal with as well from a groin surgery several years ago and having a hearing problem, too, with my balance. So there's quite a lot in the mix there. So I'm naturally quite a stressful person. I worry about quite a lot. Um, so that's been sort of really exacerbating uh, what's been going on as well. So I've really been trying to kind of tone down worrying, stressing so much and just really trying to be at peace in the moment and where I am at life and just enjoying everything I can. So I've really been trying to sort of help myself out with sort of therapy books uh, in terms of cognitive behavioural therapy and really just trying to change rather than having such an obsessive mind frame, um, but really trying to kind of silence those thoughts, those obsessions and that element of OCD, which we can all suffer from, particularly in times when you're trying to strive to achieve something and you've got lots of sort of impacting factors in the background. So that's what I've been really trying to uh, sort of achieve on and uh, and sort of work out as well. So moving forward from that, then throwing in the mix, of course, I celebrated my birthday. So I turned 31. That was absolutely incredible. Um, and you know, I had a really, really amazing day and it was just it was really, really lovely. It really was. And um, I live in the family home. So straight off from the morning with mum and dad, it was lovely. And my twin brother was here in the morning as well. And um, because he's got his fiance and his little girl too. Um, so I had lovely gifts from everybody. I seen everybody, not necessarily on the day, but close proximity to it because um, we had a wonderful holiday. I, uh, uh, have been to Lanzarote recently, so that was great with my sister-in-law, my two brothers. Um, unfortunately, my twin brother and my niece and his fiance didn't go, um, which would have made it absolutely perfect. But who did go? We had an amazing time. So that was with my niece, nephew, brothers, sister-in-law and mum. So that was really, really great. Um, my dad, of course, stayed at home, uh, was doing things with the house, lots of kind of renovations and things. So that was really, really great as well. Um, so it's been a really busy time. So I had a fantastic birthday, blessed with lots of uh, wonderful family, lots of really great, uh, wonderful wonderful gifts was absolutely spoilt went out had a really lovely meal um, and just some wonderful memories and just yes yeah, really cherished times so that was really really great then on the back of that as well my brother and sister-in-law they celebrated their wedding anniversary and that's literally the day after and then the day before is my niece's birthday um, so huge busy time of course very expensive time then a couple of days after no it wasn't sorry the day after my, my brother's wedding anniversary we went uh, on holiday to Lanzarote the weather was incredible we've done some wonderful things but of course it was the first time with me being away with having uh, the problems which I've been dealing with I'd never actually been on holiday uh, with the problems I've been having in the, in the first half of this year so for example yes from groin surgeries and one thing or another I've been on holidays uh, with those problems and the bladder problems because unfortunately I have a lot of bathroom issues from having had the surgeries which I've had where things went wrong unfortunately um, but this was the first one where because I uh, unfortunately keep having episodes where it comes over my chest and it feels as though my heart's absolutely pounding and I get quite lightheaded and sometimes I've kind of flaked out with that um, so it was it there was an element of anxiety for me uh, with doing this holiday, but it was something which I really wanted to do because um, I do work from home to try and manage and keep uh, sort of 
from work's perspective, safeguarding with the things which have been going on. Um, but I've been really trying to take ownership of what's been happening to me and really just trying to uh, take ownership of the fact that actually I have a life um, and I have to have that healthy balance. So I still have to go on and do things, explore things to have that adventure in my life as well. Um, and you know what I do? One of my favourite things is getting out, going out for meals, uh, love going to the cinema, love being out with my uh, brothers. Um, and you know what? I have a really busy life, even though predominantly my job is working from home. But it's constant. There's always lots going on. My channel is very, very busy. I have a lot of studying in finance, accountancy, and all of those kind of uh, sort of areas as well with different things in relation to that. So I'm busy. I keep myself busy and it never stops me in my life, whatever I'm dealing with. And it certainly will never, ever define me at all. Um, so that's been great. To, to deal with that and to go on holiday. It really was nice to just kind of take ownership of that. And there was a few things where unfortunately I didn't feel great uh, on holiday, but uh, I took ownership of it. And um, there was elements of it where, do you know, it happened. Um, it came across my chest a couple of times and there was a couple of times where I was a little bit weary, but I got through it. My niece and nephew were there. We had lots and lots of fun. My brothers were there, my mum were there. So there was always somebody on hand if I didn't feel great. Now I would usually just take a seat, take a few deep breaths. Um, I have an inhaler as well and just a few sips of water. And then not long after that, I was back on my feet with people around me and we were uh, going again and exploring. So it wasn't at my usual pace, but we got to see some incredible things in Playa Blanca and Lanzarote. Uh, the market, which was really, really lovely as well. Playa Blanca Centre itself. We've done lots of walking, lots of exploring, then time by the pool, lots of lovely food, a few nice drinks. Uh, we had some really, really great, amazing memories. Then, of course, we come home and it was my mum and dad's wedding anniversary of 41 years. So it was lovely because on the day I got to share lunch with them, which was really, very nice. And then in the evening, uh, it was nice because we all had something uh, a lovely meal together as well and toasted with a glass of champagne too with mum and dad um, in the lounge talking putting the world to rights it really really was lovely uh, and um I think it was 50 roses my dad actually gifted my mum this year and uh, they had some lovely cards as well and things and then the following day we done a little bit more of the same again um, which was very very nice indeed it really really was so as you can see it's been a busy time there's been lots and lots going on in terms of going forward um, I'm going to be throwing myself into a few uh, exams hopefully um, in what I'm studying for my accountancy at the moment uh, so that's going to be taking me a little bit away from the channel but we're not going to be abandoning the channel at all we've got some great things coming up on the channel which I want to cover. So one of the ranges which I've been using is uh, we're going to be talking about hair and we're going to be talking about skincare as well, as well as motivation as well and finding your confidence and just putting the best you out there. And what I do when I have those days when you can't necessarily find that strength but you smile, you keep going and the things which I do to really put myself out there and then in the end you're gliding through all those fears, those emotions, worries, stresses, whatever you want to call it and you are just shining and you're rising and you're just take you on the battle of this life and you're just you're getting there you're 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 doing okay so my friend you're going to be all right if you're going through those problems and that's going to be something we're going to be talking about and bring to the channel real soon as well one of my favorite systems we've been using for hair loss and hair thinning is by Avida uh, Ivate which we're going to be looking at the shampoo the can uh, the shampoo the conditioner and the scalp revitalizing product as well as the thickening tonic too so that's going to be coming up soon as well um, and that we're going to be looking at some skincare uh, products too uh, some for uh, men's skin but predominantly for men and women's skin as well. Um, why you may think because that is a passion of mine because if your skin looks good if it feels good if your hair looks good if you feel good then you have got the most confident you and you can walk into any situation feeling the most confident best version of yourself. So nine times out of ten you're going to come out flying you're going to come out on top because you feel great and at the end of the day you're not doing it for anybody else my friend or and you shouldn't be doing it for anybody else you should be doing it for you because ultimately there is only one of you in this world and just simply for that fact on that very first starting note you're amazing anything else is a bonus on top so as you agree there's lots going to be coming up on the channel uh, so that's going to be great and just generally in life as well summer is one of my favorite times as well so hopefully I may well be taking a few days away uh, abroad somewhere on a really nice holiday hopefully not too sure where yet but that will be with brother sister-in-law niece nephew mum 
I know my mum and dad are going to be taking another summer holiday. They've recently just had a couple of uh, weeks in Cyprus and Pathos. That's their place, their destination. A lot of my subscribers will know that as well. We've talked about it a lot. They're my absolute world, so I will hopefully be doing something nice for them as well this summer too. And I know in September they're going to be going away for a couple more weeks as well. Um, so a very, very busy time. And, you know, whenever we, we talk about these things in family, my nan is always with me. It's real hard and... Uh, a lot of my subscribers will know that back in May of 2021, I lost my dear Nan, but she is always with me and I talk about her a lot. And I've, throughout all of what we've talked about, I've had moments where I felt down and heartbroken. And yeah, I've had a few tears when I've been on my own, I really have. I love Lanzarote because that was the destination of what was my Nan's last holiday. So when I go back, I've been there twice now, when I go back, it's literally, it's literally like that I look around, especially even when just landing at the airport and I can think, do you know what, Nan's seen all this, there's an element of her with me and she is with me all the time. She's with the Lord above and she's with me and she guides me and she still teaches me all the time. Um, but goodness me, I would do anything to give her a hug, I really, really would. But do you know what, I'm not greedy. Um, I may well be selfish, but I'm not greedy and I'm very proud and um, I'm very blessed and I treasure all of the many wonderful years I had with my Nan. And as I say, she is always with me and for all eternity, she is my nanny and she is always here in my heart. Um, but lots to come on the channel, lots going on. I know a lot of my subscribers will have a very busy summer ahead. Look at my head, you know what? The one thing, the one product that I've used this morning, it's gone sort of, it's almost like growing in sort of thickness. I think this was a... Um, Funny enough, it's a product which actually uh, I used to use when I used to look after my uh, dear nan. Um, and my, my nanny had an Alzheimer's disease um, and my mum and me very often would look after her and we'd see her all the time every week, we'd see her. And um, there, there wasn't anything uh, pretty much my mum, my mum didn't uh, do. She always, we always used to try to uh, keep nan as nan always was. And you know what? My nan literally held two fingers up to her illness. She really, really did. And an incredibly glamorous lady right to the end. And unfortunately, I lost my nan in a very, very horrific way. Um, but keeping this positive, because nan always did, and she always kept going no matter what. Um, and she really fought it to the to the end. She really, really did. And um, this particular shampoo conditioner, uh, when I used to wash my nan's hair with my mum, my mum used to colour it, and I used to help style it with my nan as well, as I've got a passion for hair. And um, nan was always so glamorous and so just stunningly beautiful. And actually, funny enough, um, the shampoo conditioner was the Pantend. I can't. It was it was a Pantend small bottle. It's in my family bathroom. I haven't actually got it to show on the channel, but um, we we'll review it. Do you know what? We we'll review it shortly uh, on the channel soon because it is really really great at making volume and as you can see it seems to grow in shape so I bought it the other day and it just made me feel up my nan a little bit and I used it in my hair um, and you know it's great it makes your hair thicker it makes your hair fuller um, my nan used to love crazy sort of height in blow dry uh, in her in her hair and um, it all, my nan's hair was always absolutely beautiful and I thought you know I want to try that I want to try that and I seen it and I when we did used to use it, it used to sometimes used to buy it as well and sometimes it would sit in the shower in the family bathroom too and occasionally I'd use it but never really, now I've got longer hair, do I appreciate just actually the life and the vitality it actually puts in the hair and the fullness as well but I do find that it seems to sort of grow, it seems to sort of get bigger so today it's warm out, it's quite humid and as you can see it's sort of it's nice and it's really really soft as you can see um, and your fingers just glide straight through it but it's great, it's a great product, so we're going to be certainly reviewing that on the channel as I've seen this as well. And all I've done today was just like a bit of a oblong sort of small paddle brush, uh, just with a blow dryer, and just literally straight through, nothing fancy going, as you can see, there's nothing to this, it just goes and glides straight through it, I've got fine textured hair, um, I like it, I like it, I'm liking its length at the moment. I have to admit, whilst I was away in Lanzarote, I did play with the idea of potentially having it cut off short. Um, not short, we may be doing that this, this summer, or shorter, or a bit of a different style. Not 100% short at the moment, but I'm sure you agree. Lots to come. Um, so yeah, just really, really great. So on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this clip, this bit of a catch up. I really certainly have. And to all of my subscribers, thank you very much. And to the backlog of comments at the moment, I will get there. Please, please bear with me. 
I always love to just sit down and just acknowledge everything because I always feel if somebody has taken up their time and they have blessed me with leaving a comment on my channel who I never actually thought that I'd even get 50 subscribers and we're over 2,000, nearly 2,100 now, um, which is fantastic and thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. But I really do like to and I get a lot of comments now. Um, so I love to just sit there and just wholeheartedly just reply back to every single comment which I get. And it is a lot of comments. It takes a lot of time, but it's a really amazing, lovely issue to have. Um, and I'm very, very blessed. So thank you very much for that. So on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this clip. I really do. Uh, thank you very much for being here. And until next time, God bless, take great care, and I will look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.